Boogie drop that beat. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Talking Out Loud with Miss Talkative. Everything I say is my own opinion, alleged, and strictly entertainment purposes. Remember, I'm just talking out loud. Please like, share, subscribe, comment on the video, let me know what you think. Today I would like to speak on the um, interview that Latasha Scott Husband did with Tasha K. And allegedly... His real name is Edward, and the side chick, yes, I call it, she, she says she's not a side chick, but they, that they were actually in a relationship, and I don't know how you're in a relationship, and this man has a whole wife, but anyway, she said that, alleged, she said that his name is, his real name is Edward. I'm going to say allegedly because I don't know. And he pursued her, not the other way, or not the other way around. She didn't pursue him. He pursued her. And the reason for her going public is he made too many promises to her and didn't carry them out. So if he had been keeping his promises or whatever, she would have never brought all this to the forefront. And she says she never asked him for anything, um, you know, while they were in their five-year relationship. They did go on trips and things. He did do things for her, but she never asked him for anything. She never thought that she had to ask him for anything. Because they were in a relationship, basically, I guess, she, you know, she said that he should have just, you know, did what needed to be done. And she stated that... What everybody says, she said a, uh, that he stated to her that he was not happy in his marriage and that La, that Latasha was controlling. I'm going to say, you big dummy, because what married man is going to tell you, okay, um, I'm happy with my marriage, but, you know, me and you, you know, what we got, you know, I, I still want to be with you. He can't possibly come to you and tell you that he's happy because you're going to say, well, if you're so happy, then why are you here with me? So he have to give you some sob, sad story for you to believe, be able to believe anything else that he's, that comes along, but you fell for it. And she stated that what attracted her to Rocky was him being a boss. I'm like, boss, what boss? Okay. Um, I don't know what he did. Um, at the time or whatever, I don't know what he was showing her at the time, what he was telling her. Um, but she did say that that's what attracted to her, attracted her to him was basically his boss standard. She stated that he promised to take care of her, his three kids, and he was actually moving money around. Um, so he could actually leave Tasha so they could start a life together and he wanted Tasha to be good too, but he was, so he was trying to move money around so they could, so when they leave, they could be good as well. He promised to buy her a house. He was going to take care of her, her three kids. And she thought it was just a business re uh, relationship with, between him and Tasha, allegedly. And he and she really believed everything that he was saying to her. And I'm like, well, wait a minute. He stated that he wasn't happy in a marriage, but then you stated that you thought that it, he, he led you to believe that it was just a business situation. And I know people get married for all sorts of reasons, but if it was just a business arrangement with Tasha, and you thought that, but you thought that it was, it was just, it was Tasha's money. And that's why he had to sneak and hide money and try to move money around to leave her. How did that all fit together? I mean, really, it's like he's, he's playing you. He's being man, manipulative.
to you as well, but you're not picking up on it. Um, she did say to clear, you know, basically to clear up the rumors because people were trying to speculate if Candy had paid this woman because there was a picture floating around that uh, she took a picture with Candy and she stated she don't know Candy and Candy has not paid her any money to do these stunts or anything. Um, she stated that she took a picture with Candy at one of Candy events, but she still do not know Candy. And she did not know Candy hasn't spoken to Candy or anything like that. But she did say that she has been to the uh she has been to T I studio and she's been to So So Deaf Studio. So I'm like, okay, here we go again. You don't know Candy, but you've been to So So Deaf Studio. And I know Candy probably wasn't there. But at the same time, I know Escape did a lot of business with, you know, So So Deaf, Jermaine Dupri or whatever. So you say you, you don't know Candy, but you've been to the So So Deaf studio and you've been to T.I. studio. So do you actually know Escape? Do Latasha actually know this woman? I mean, it's like, y'all, I mean, because she stated that Rocky, his, his circle knows her. His friends knows her. His business associates knows her. So my question is, is this one big old, you know, I mean, because they say as big as Atlanta is, Atlanta is small. So if you, you're hanging out in Atlanta with Tasha Husband, and it seems like everywhere Tasha goes, Rocky goes because... Tasha, is, I mean, Rocky is allegedly Tasha's mouthpiece. So how how did you keep missing Tasha, but you're in places where she would normally be? Make it make sense. And she um, she did say that um, she was married. She she's a um, she's divorced. She had she have three kids with her ex husband. And she had, and she also had three pregnancies with Rocky. The first one ended, um, she terminated it because Rocky was, you know, giving her a hard time or whatever. And he is basically, he led to her, she stating, um, and I'm going to say allegedly, but she's stating that he basically led her up to terminating the pregnancy. He didn't force her, but because of the way he was acting, it led her um, to terminate the, the pregnancy. And when she told him about it, he acted like he was all broken up about it and everything. But, you know, it was already done. And the second one ended in a miscarriage. Again, you know, she alluded to, uh, and I'm going to say allegedly, that he stressed her out until she wound up having a miscarriage. Now, the third one, I'm not, I don't know. I believe I missed that about the third one. So I'm not going to say, but she did say that she um, was pregnant by him three times. And all three of the kids that she have now are by her ex-husband. She did say that her oldest son actually met um, Rocky. Her oldest son is um, allegedly, a, a, you know, a sing, he, you know, he could sing and Rocky was supposed to help him with his singing. So again, if Rocky is helping him, then that means I'm, I'm not going to say that's what it means, but was Rocky getting, trying to get Latasha to help this, this young man with his singing career as well? Because Rocky, ain't, I mean, I know he's, he was supposed, it was stated that he's he was Latasha's manager, so he probably was trying to help the young man with his singing career. But again, how does Tasha miss all of this? Just my opinion. She did state that when um, she came out the first time with all of the um, with everything, the pregnancy and stuff like that, dropping receipts. And then came back and take took it back that it was it was Rocky's PR team that came up with the um, 
the hacking incident and stuff like that. And she, she went along with it because again, he's making her all these promises and stuff like that. But my, my thing is if he's been making all these promises to you all along and haven't fulfilled, um, any of these promises, then why are you going, why are you still going along with this madness? So you, I mean, you're blame. I mean, you have no one to blame but yourself and for you to keep following somebody that is just, he's still sticking with his wife and you waiting, you waiting on him to leave his wife, buy your house, take care of you and your kids. It's like, lady, you not only putting yourself out there, you putting your three kids out there waiting on somebody that already has a family. You think he's going to leave his family, his wife and son, to be with you and your three kids? And I'm not saying that you can't find a man to do that, but not some, but not somebody else's husband. How wrong are you? I don't really, I don't feel sorry for you at all. I don't, I mean, because my thing is, you get what you put in. And you knew the man was married or whatever, and you didn't care. So I, I, I just don't, I mean... You put yourself in that in, in that predicament. Even though you saying that he pursued you, at any point in time, you could have ended it. You could have said, this is not for me. I'm not doing this or whatever. No, I have an ex-husband. So why would you do this? I, I really don't feel sorry for you. Uh, she stated that he deleted all his messages and wanted her to delete hers. Um... So basically she kept her, her messages from him, you know, from them going back and forth. So if, or when things go south, because so in other words, she kept the messages. So when things go south, she can still have her proof because, so you're playing to me because you're saying that you kept on, um, you, you, he wanted you to delete yours like he deleted his, but you wouldn't just in case you needed them further down the line. So my point is, you probably knew that you were going to do this all along. You was just waiting for the right time, the right moment. That's my opinion. And she said that he also was DMing one of her friends. I'm like, lady, how dumb can you be? So you messing, you, you messing with this married man that has a whole family and you have a you have a family you, and you hoping that this man leave his leave his wife steal her money allegedly and buy your house to take care of you and your kids to be with you and your kids leave his family come be a part of your family and also so um i guess when you got bumped up to main main chick then your friend was going to be bumped to, was going to be bumped up to side chick. Who goes for that? You should have just some, sometimes just be glad that you got away. You don't even have to go through all this spiel because again, what are you getting out of it? And I understand it. All of this could be true. All of this could be true. But at the same time, why put yourself through all of this again? Because I don't believe for one second that you are a victim. I don't. Because you are, you allowed this man to manipulate you knowing that he was already in a, in a full-fledged marriage with a family. Stop. She did um, show the proof of the cash apps and stuff like that for uh, that Rocky had been sending to her. And so, I'm, I mean, I'm not saying that she's lying. I'm not. All I'm saying is, to me, she's not a victim. I don't feel sorry for her at all. Because regardless of what you say about Latasha, um, how manipulative that Rocky is to Latasha, I believe that this is Latasha's husband. So Latasha has, she, she can say whether she wants to stay and work it out with her husband or um get up and leave and regardless of what she choose uh what she decide to do this is her husband just because whatever they say latasha's mean controlling attitude problem whatever in this situation here this is latasha's husband and that's all that has to be said point blank case and period 
And, you know, and this lady had the audacity, the nerve to say she don't feel guilty about the affair with Rocky, but she feel bad because she, you know, she went through this before, um, allegedly in her marriage. So again, this is why I don't feel bad for her. I don't feel like she's a victim or anything because you're doing this to yourself. And like I said, some things you need to just keep to yourself. Because you just made yourself look like an even bigger fool when when you um, state that you were uh, married, you have three kids with your ex-husband, and you've been through this before with your husband? Girl. So, because you, pat, you were pain, and uh, your husband gave, you know, uh, put you through pain, so now you feel as though it don't matter, so you're going to take that pain and pass it to another woman? No, lady, I don't, I don't buy it. I don't, I don't feel as though you're a victim or whatever. I have no sympathy for you and whatever karma you have coming to you. You might as well just sit on in line with the rest of the side chicks, uh, because your karma is coming as well. Like I said, I don't care how bad of an attitude Latasha has. I don't care what type of relationship she has with anybody else. That's still her husband. And right now I don't feel as though you're a victim. You went into this with your eyes open. And, and if you didn't, you should have because you said you've been through this with your ex-husband. So you got what you wanted. You getting exactly what you wanted. You wanted publicity. You wanted exposure. Here you go right here. But me, I'm just going to say, I don't, I don't feel no sympathy for you. None whatsoever. I don't feel sorry for, I don't, I'm not saying it's all your fault. I'm not saying it's all your fault because trust me. Rocky has done his dirt. He has done his part. And I'm saying it's equally shareable. All of this is equally shareable. I don't feel sorry for him. And I can't wait for Latasha to wake up and leave his dusty behind. And I don't feel sorry for Unique. And that's just my opinion. I'm just talking out loud. Please like, share, subscribe. Comment on the video. Let me know what you think.